Incorporating white clover into sheep graze swords has the potential to reduce our reliance on chemical nitrogen fertilizer while also improving lamb performance. While establishing white clover is easiest through a full reseed, over sowing of existing swords is also an option. Before considering this option, a number of things need to be taken into consideration. Number one is the type of sword you're working with. So if it is an old, unproductive sword, the best option for this would still be a full reseed. However, if you're happy that you still have productive swords with a decent level of perennial ryegrass, over sowing with white clover is an option. The next thing to consider is the soil fertility status of the field. So this should be corrected prior to over -sowing. By this we mean as close to between six and six and a half pH and as close to index three for P and K as possible. The next consideration is weed control. So if there, if there is weeds present, for example, docks, thistles or nettles, these should be taken out prior to over -sowing, as the options for weed control post sowing that are clover safe are limited. Preparation of the field in terms of cleaning off the sward before sowing is also important. This means we should graze to as close to four centimeters as possible or cut for silage to clean out the base of the sward to allow as much seed soil contact as possible. Time of sowing is also a consideration. So the best time is sometime between April and June when soil temperatures are high during moist conditions to allow as good, a contact, as good a establishment as possible for the new white clover seedlings while also giving them a long period post sowing to establish over the remainder of the year. For sheep graze swords, some form of mechanical intervention will be required uh, for seed establishment. In Athenry, we have successfully used tine harrows to open up the base of the sward to allow maximum seed soil contact and, a, and successful establishment. This is slightly different to cattle swords, which may be more open and can successfully be oversown by broadcasting the seed. But due to the much denser nature of a sheep sward, we have found this to be unsuccessful. In terms of seeding rate, we are using a seeding rate of two, between two and a half and three kilograms per acre of a small leaf clover variety for sheep swords. The reason for this, again, due to the dense nature of the sward, we are trying to increase the chances of successful establishment in a much more challenging environment. And also the use of small leaf clovers are vital as they are much more tolerant to tight sheep grazing. Post sowing management is just as important as pre sowing management. We would graze at no more than seven to seven centimeters or approximately a thousand kilograms of grass dry matter per hectare. And we also reduce the amount of chemical nitrogen being spread on the paddocks which have been over sown for the remainder of the grazing season to reduce the competition for grass and allow the clover the maximum potential to establish.